Hello folks, this is Rabbi Kukirkorn with another installment of Jewish Tidbits. Tomorrow is Friday the 13th of January. And somehow there's lots of anxiety and issues around Friday the 13th that generated actually the movie, that, but that is considered to be an unlucky number. And why is 13 unlucky? For a very simple reason. It comes from, first of all, Christian mythology and Christian superstition, that when they had the Last Supper, it was Jesus and 12 apostles, so 13 at the table, and the next day Jesus was crucified. So, obviously, not a very lucky event. Um, the idea of 13 being an unlucky number was also pre-existent, uh, where pagan peoples believed that. For instance, in Nordic mythology, there is a story of a, another dinner, where 12 guests, 12 gods were invited, and then a 13th god showed up and made trouble, end up killing one of the gods. So, obviously, 13 being a bad number. For Jews, however, it's exactly the opposite. Uh, Friday is considered a terrific day. It's the beginning of the Sabbath. That's when God finished creating the world. And 13 is a great number. For instance, a boy is bar mitzvah at 13. There are maximum 13 months in a Hebrew calendar. God has 13 attributes. There are even 613 commandments. Um, uh, now, for even in general society, there's lots of things who are considered lucky on the 13. For instance, for us North Americans, there's, there's 13 colonies in the original North America. And so, there are also 13 stripes and 13 stars on the original American flag. So I don't think we need to have much anxiety around Friday the 13th, but rather we should celebrate it, and what better way to celebrate it than coming to temple? This Friday 13th, or any other Friday, you're always welcome. Rabbi Kukirkorn, looking forward to seeing many of you. Shalom.